Hey guys, Colbert here. Welcome to another Ray Shadow Legends video. Guys, ah man, I, I recorded this video already and um, some, there was something wrong with my audio and just I have to record this again. I completed the Artifact Enhancement event during the previous recording, but anyway, I'll do it again for you guys, of course. So guys, I'm using Bluestacks today because I want to show you some little tricks that I use for uh, just doing the Artifact Enhancement event, just getting you know, more silver than the ones you spend. Uh, that's the thumbnail also and the title, but it's just basic maths, guys. Just sell the items for more that it needs for you to upgrade them, and then you get some points for the artifact and that's anything. It's very basic, but it's not always the case when you want to upgrade something to 16. It's not going to happen. It's not going to be the same thing. I'm also, guys, going to show you some other tricks with Bluestacks, so stay here. There's a link down in the description uh, if you want to click it and download Bluestacks. It also helps out the channel. I get a small contribution every single time that you click on that link there and download the Bluestacks, so it's a way for you guys to support me and also gain some benefit for your playstyle, for your gameplay in Raid. So uh, let's just say you want to farm here in, in the stage 12 free, I have macros. That's what Blue Stacks enables you guys. It, en it enables you to basically have a mobile phone on your computer. It works also on Mac, if I'm not mistaken. And what these macros do is basically recordings of your actions throughout the game uh, with anything. So for example, I have recordings of me just, uh, just doing stage 12 free eight times. And that's how it works, basically one time of the run. And then I have it repeat eight times. And that's the amount of runs needed for my uh, champions to get to 20. So what I do, guys, is to uh, just record this macro. Very easy. I'm going to show you. Um, I'll just select three two-star champions. Go here to the macro screen and just click record new macro. And I'm going to start. Wait, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you first the first run and what I actually record and make this macro. So uh, it's gonna be the first run up to completion, and that's when I start the recording because it's gonna be repeating the actions uh, another eight times. So there it is. Here we are at the repeat screen, and we just basically do this. Uh, we click the record new macro. And just click the replay button. And that's it, basically. You don't need to do anything else. You you click that record macro and that's it. What you need to do next, guys, is calculate. Depending on if you have the raid pass or not, calculate how many runs you need uh, to basically go from, um, you know, level 1 to level 24. Two stars is eight runs. For uh, three stars, it's 20, 20 runs. Then for four stars, it's 44 runs. And for five stars, it's 93 runs with the raid pass and the 100% XP boost. So this new macro that we recorded, what it does basically it just clicks that replay button. Because we do farm it at about seven seconds, just to be safe, I will have this repeat every 15 seconds. So double that time because of the loading screens and everything. And then repeat this for eight times. Just click save. And what I would do once I have that macro ready is I would just do my normal, just put the two champions that I want in there, just press start and then go to the macro screen and just press play. And that's it. It's going to repeat itself eight times, which is the amount of time needed to actually farm those uh, two star champions to 20. And you can do this for any kind of stars on your champions. You're going to see it repeat in a bit. It says running first time here at the top, running second time. So here it clicks again and it goes back in. And it's going to say running for the third time once we finish this. And it's going to wait for a bit. And it's going to just show the third run of us. And because I have a 100% run, which is on about seven seconds, it's going to do it again. I'm going to just exit from there. I don't want to show you the whole run, guys. So we get our items for from farming, okay? We have the Artifact Enhancement event. It's a pain. It always costs about 20 to 30 million silver to upgrade anything. Uh, to full and also get the full amount of points. But with blue stacks, guys, it actually becomes way, way easier. So we go here to the just new items and I have another macro recorded. And the macro is just the process of me just clicking on the item, upgrading it to level four, which gives you actually a benefit. I'll show you the benefit right now, guys. I've got this Excel document, which is basically the, the cost of all items. So to upgrade an item to level four of five stars, an accessory, uh, like an artifact is ch cheaper. So uh, an item to level four costs 6,300 um, 6, to just upgrade a five-star item to level four. 
And then if you want to do it, the whole thing to 16 and get everything with the first try, it's 165,000. Of course, you're not going to get everything on the first try. Uh, you guys know that it has a 5% chance to, to actually be successful on, uh, on getting that level 16 upgrade. So you're going to fail a ton of times. So it's one out of 20 to get it on the first try. So this lowest cost is at the best case scenario. If you get extremely lucky, that's your lowest cost going to be. It usually is about 1 million to 2 million. And if it's, you know, accessories, it's even worse. And if it's a six star, it's even worse when you're upgrading them. But the point is here, guys, to show that on the five star items, let's say upgrade it to level four, it costs one, uh, 9,450. But to sell the five star shields, it sells for um, it sells for 20,000. So there's a 10,000 silver, you know, difference right there. So it's, it's actually a benefit. You get more silver than the ones you spend to upgrade something to four. So this way you basically do the artifact enhancement for free as long as you want items to upgrade. And let's say you do the dragon, you do like 100 runs on the dragon. Don't sell them immediately there. Just keep them in your inventory if you have got the space. And then you go in there with this macro that I have right here. I'm just going to show you the macro, how it works. And you guys can realize what I did for this macro. So I press play there, just clicks on the upgrade button, clicks it to go to uh, level four. And it's going to upgrade on its own to level four. And on common shields, by the way, I sell for more, but they give you just a bit more points. And then it sells. And that's it. It's running for the second time now. Again, just go there, upgrade, upgrade to level four, and then it sells. You can do this with any item that you have there and in your page. It's much better to do this on the new items page. Let's say you just finished farming because that way you won't mess around with any of your good items. Uh, so just do this on the new page. Uh, just new, that, that section right there. So no other accessories. This will keep going, the, the macro. So I'm just going to stop it manually. I usually have this going when like on my other screen right here and just do the main thing here, editing videos or watching YouTube videos, watching streams on Twitch or something. And that's how uh, I just benefit another way from my macros. I'm going to show you some other macros that I have. I have one which is called just gear selling, which just sells all my new items, just clicks them, clicks all of them, and then just clicks the sell button. And that's it. I use that when there's no artifact enhancement event going. I also have just spam R, spam repeat. I have that for just farming overnight that dragon uh, or, you know, whatever dungeon. I also have arena farming. Arena farming is just, I did this once and then I just don't have to do it again. What arena farming is, guys, is I'll just go here to the um, fresh page of the arena, record this macro once, and I would just go like this, record new macro, get into the fights as usual, and just do the 10 fights that the, the first page has. And then just click stop on that macro. But you should uh, just, you see this run is going to be a very fast run. Of course, all your fights are not going to be this kind of fast. So wait for a little bit, maybe wait it out to one minute. And then just click on, you know, the other actions that you would do. So let's say your usual fights go the maximum to 30 seconds. Let's say the maximum. So you tap continue there at 30 seconds, return to arena. Then you go to your second fight and you do that 10 times you know, for the whole page and then you click stop and that's it. That's your arena farming macro. And that's what I did. And it helps me, you know, cut that time that raid needs uh, for you guys to spend every single day because we've got the arena, we've got 3v3, we've got um, dungeon farm, we've got enhanced, uh, advanced quests, we've got the doom tower right now, we've got faction wars, all of this just takes a ton of our time every single day. You can see guys, and I do have my 3v3 still. I need to record the macro for that. But uh, 3v3 is a bit weird because it's a lot of fights and it does take much, much longer, especially if you're in gold gold ranking. But uh, yeah, this macro definitely helps me. And guys, another thing that Bluestack is great for is actually upgrading the items to all the way to 16 extremely, extremely fast. The way to do this is very simple. There's a, a, a button right here called the Eco Mode. What the Eco Mode basically does, it, it can help you drop the frame rates of the game down. So uh, we just press the eco mode. I have it set at 30. You can set it however uh, low you want, even up to 10. I think it's the lowest that's actually possible to upgrade it. Um, 30 is much better when you have many stuff out open on your computer. So 30 is also the maximum. So that's how I have it. And I'll just click upgrade and I'm just going to take it to 12. So you guys can see the difference of just upgrading an item all the way to 12 using this. Just look at the silver there at the top. You might think it's extremely slow, but actually 
It's the frame rates. They look to be slower than usual, but they're actually faster than usual. And the silver is an indication of how you know fast the silver is just going because of the failed attempts and the successful attempts. We're already at level 10. And uh, it's going to be at 16. I think it takes about a minute to take an item normally to 16. This is about half that time, about 30 seconds or so. So this item didn't roll all that well. So um, should I stop it at 12? Um, yeah, I think I'm going to stop it at 12. Just get out of eco mode uh, when you move around because yeah, I'm going to stop it there. Uh, let's look at this other speed item that I did get from Dragon. Uh, let's get this to 12. Let's see how fast this is. And you can see that if, if I drop the frame rate even more, look at this. We can actually see now the bar there. You can drop it even further to 10. I used to have it at 10, but now I think because I'm also recording, uh, this is a bit, uh, you know, slower. So taking this all the way back to 30 and just upgrading items this way, it just saves you a ton, a ton of time. Try it out. You'll for sure not regret it, guys. And guys, to close off this video, I'm going to show you the last thing that um, just Bluestacks helps me with, and it's going to be through the Google Play Store. So the Google Play Store, if you don't have a Google Play account, you can have this through the Bluestacks um, emulator. So what this does is in select countries, you can actually gain points for your purchases. So uh, you can see right here that I'm platinum level right here because of the purchases that I did. It's nothing too crazy, but it's not, you know, you know, just a hundred dollars is more than a hundred dollars spent so far. So what you do right here, guys, is you earn points by just buying packs. For this weekend, we've got four points per one dollar. So with two hundred fifty dollars spent, you get one thousand points. Let's say you've gathered one thousand points throughout purchases uh, in a couple of months or whatever time period you might be. Well, you might spend that in a day. I don't judge. So you get those one thousand points. You press here this button. Uh, the use button, it says I have 19 points because I just redeemed it in the video that I uh, was recording but did not have any sound. So uh, anyway, there's a way to um, just redeem those points to get actually, you know, energy, XP brews or one rank three chicken. Or guys, you can just press here the play credit and you can actually get up to a $10 Google Play credit, you know, benefit. And that's what I did uh, on the previous recording. I did get... Uh, the $10 Google Play credit with my 1,000 points and you can use it wherever you want in the Google Play Store or just go back to Raid and just buy more packs. So uh, if you can see here, I'll go to the shop. I didn't buy it in the previous video, but I'll buy it now. So this one's $10. I've got a $10 Google Play balance because I redeemed my 1,000 points. I'll get 40 points for the future. So again, I'll get more points. I can use them again. And I think during Christmas, there's even more benefits uh, in terms of points redeeming. So you might want to save up your points. Uh, so uh, yeah, I can just do this one tap buy and uh, it's going to be processing and that's it. The purchase is done. I didn't spend any of my money. I just spent, you know, the Google Play credit that I earned just just from previous purchases that I did. And there's the, there they are, the nine ancient shards, 450 gems, 275k silver. That's actually a good pack, by the way. So it's a bit more than a dollar uh, a shard, but you get the shard, the gems as well. So it's a good, it's a good amount. So that's like what ten refreshes uh, worth of energy. It's pretty good because I'm also doing the dragon tournament. So guys, if you did enjoy this video, there's a link down below for downloading Blue Stacks. It does help the channel out. So you're helping me and also helping yourself just make things easier for raid, save some of your time, and also just you know. It's mostly about the time, and it, I I really do prefer the Google the um, the player and play, but the time that this thing saves me, it's just it's just worth having. You know the lower graphics and a bit of lag because this is much much slower than just the Google the the player and play. Uh, yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks a lot, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.